Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to set up WPLMS 4.0 in your WordPress site. So here I have my WordPress site and I am checking. So here I have my WordPress site and I'm in the appearance theme section. And here I click on add new button on the top. Then I click on the upload theme and I drag my WPLMS theme file which I downloaded from my theme forest account and then click on install now so once the theme is installed I click on activate to activate the theme upon activation you'll see the installation setup wizard so in here you need to choose the type of installation that you're doing for your site this type will govern the rest of the setup process like what features you want for your site and what demos are available to you post setup wizard you can always enable or disable features or sw switch over to other demos as well so let's begin so here we select the theme style so let's select the latest one and click on continue the next step is where you need to select the features that you want for your site so some are required features while others are optional features the required features will always appear as checked and the optional features you can enable by clicking on on them and then we click on continue so next is the authentication step here you can either log into your Envato account and authenticate your site or you can enter your item purchase code and continue so once the item purchase code is valid you'll see the next step for installing the required plugins so now you'll see success messages for the plugins that are being installed if you see a ajax error error on any of the plugins then you can safely ignore it that happens because the plugin is trying to migrate you away from the setup process and we stop that then there is another message which is the failed message which means that the plugin installation has failed for those plugins we will have to install them manually from the WP admin panel so once the installation of the plugins is complete then we are required to set up some pages and layouts so we click on continue and these pages will be automatically set up next is the next is the import demo content so you can import the content from the demo into your site this is optional if you have an existing site you can skip this step if there is a slider in the demo make sure you check mark the slider slider check because sliders are bulky it is possible that you might not get the slider so in our current demo there is no slider so we do not need to check this and we click on import content so again important point here is that we should not see any failed message here only success messages if we see a failed message here it means that our installation has failed and we will then need to manually import these pages another alternate for the failed process is that we go back to the step by clicking on the previous step or clicking on the step link here and then again proceeding with the continue button on the step once the 
content is imported you can set your own logo or theme skin and prime and uh, color settings from here and we click on continue and our setup is complete and we can view our website and we can view the members directory the courses directory And we can test the course as a student. In the mobile view, there is an option to hide and show panel. So that's it from WPLMS tutorials. Thanks for watching.